All right. So the next stage, I want to uh, just leave that alone for, for a bit. And I want to create a particle emitter. So I want to go to in dynamics, uh, particles, create emitter. I'm going to take a look at the attribute editor here. And you can tweak these how you like them. Um, 100 per second. I'm going to cut that down to maybe 50 per second. And uh, it's going to be falling down. Uh, so negative 1. My speed I'm going to take down. I don't want it super fast here. 5, maybe, I don't know, even, maybe even 3 here. Um, go to the beginning. Make sure our play every frame is set. And okay. So they're falling. I'm going to pull that up. Okay, so right now we have uh, it set to spheres. And uh, I'm going to do a couple things here. So in my outliner, I have my emitter and I have my particle. Uh, so my particle. I want to take a look at a few of its attributes. And let's go up to the top. We have a count. Live forever. We do want them to live forever, I suppose. Uh, radius, we can go through all that. Collisions, dynamic properties. Something what I want to play with is this dynamic weight. These seem to be falling pretty fast. Uh, confetti doesn't fall that fast so I'm going to give it a dynamic weight of maybe 0.4 and see if that slows them down at all okay and the next thing I would like to do is to give it a little bit of uh, turbulence so I would go with it selected go into the oh where are we fields turbulence and uh, sometimes you have to push the magnitude pretty far before it takes any significant effect. But let's start at 150. I'll keep everything else the same. Actually, let's go ahead and reset and go to 150. Apply. <coughs> All right, let's... Uh, not bad and what I want to do with my emitter I actually want to animate my emitter um, where is my emitter content emitter all right so I want to start it he here and I want to uh, what is that? Z. I want to. I want to set a keyframe at Z, and then I want to come to about a, a hundred frames or so, and pull it across the screen. Set a keyframe, and so this goes from here to here. Okay, and then if you guys remember, we we touched on a while back where you can go into the. Uh, curve editor and I want to set that to oscillate so in my post infinity I want it to oscillate and we want to view infinity so it goes up and down up and down up and down so it's it's going back and forth is what that's going to do and uh, because it's the emitter uh, the confetti will be coming out and that way it's just not all in one place it's going to be spread all over the place it's going back and forth and back and forth um, I may go ahead and uh, you know what that that really sharp um, bounce doesn't bother me at all so I'm just going to leave that jump back here and uh, scrub through so it's going to hit and it's just going to keep bouncing back and forth Okay, so let's see what that looks like with the particles. It 
So yeah, that's it's uh and depending on the scale of my scene, I don't uh we may want to well I've already keyframed it, but uh I wish I could take that up higher. So I'm gonna go into the uh curve editor again with my emitter selected and uh, okay translate Y is not animated so I can just uh, I can just pull that up and it's not going to mess up anything well, so this might be a good time to stop and uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to actually change these uh, these spheres, and we're going to start instancing that little particle plane that we created, uh, the confetti plane. Uh, now, in this tutorial, this set of tutorials, I'm not going to go into how to make them multicolored. Um, that's for another day. But I do want to show you how you can change these spheres out for an animated object. I'll do that in the next tutorial.